It's what's called your teachability index. Now your teachability index is a quantifiable measurement of your ability to learn and apply any new skill. And that scale is on, from zero to 100. Zero being no teachability whatsoever, 100 being ultimate teachability. And everyone's number is different for every different skill they might try in their lives. And you find your number with a really simple mathematical equation, okay? The first thing we measure is your desire to learn. So you can fill in the blank if you like. Desire to learn. And we rate that on a scale from zero to 10. Zero being no desire whatsoever, 10 being ultimate desire. You were geeked up, you were pumped, you woke up this morning and you're like, yeah, today's the memory class. Uh, I'm going to guess, and I don't just, I don't just spend a whole lot of time talking about this one. I'm going to guess most of you are going to score somewhere around a 7, 8, 9. Maybe there are a couple 10s in the room right now. But your desire to learn is pretty high. I mean, and how do I know that? Yeah, you showed up. You showed up. That tells me your desire to learn is above a 6. I, I guess I should ask this. I mean, I, I've said before, you all chose to be here. And Do we have any hostages in the room? Any, okay, if you're below 16, I don't even care. So, because <laughs> you're going to benefit more from this than any of us, because you get the rest of your life to use this skill. All right, now, we multiply that by, the trickier one, your willingness to change. Your willingness to change. True or false? Human beings resist change. True. True. Okay, we're all in agreement on this. We all resist change on some level. And you know what? It's okay. It's not inherently a bad thing. There's nothing wrong with being resistant to change. But why this is important for you is if you want to learn something new, you want to learn a new skill. You want to be better at remembering names. You want to be better at giving presentations without using notes. You want to be better at remembering complex information in a short amount of time. And your desire to do that is very high. But your willingness to change is a zero. Multiplication 10 times zero is what? Zero. zero. So then your teachability is what? Zero. 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 So this is important in, in the one sense that if you give yourself a really low score here, where you just suddenly realize like, well, I really would like to be better at that, but I am not doing that exercise. That's okay. I mean, if you're like a two on your willingness to change, I'm okay, I'm okay with that. But you better understand you're going to have a bumpy ride for the next two days. This class, you'll be like, well, it's not working for me. Well, no kidding. <laughs> so give yourself an honest score. Give yourself an honest score on your willingness to change. Ah, in terms of memory training. I don't want to know what your willingness changes in your life. That's irrelevant. In memory training, for today anyway. Today, what's your willingness to change? If you gave yourself an honest seven or eight, you're going to just take off like a rocket. And if you gave yourself an honest four or five, you're like, I'm still a little skeptical. right? And it's okay. By the way, let me just see. Show of hands. Who would consider themselves to be on the way here, before they got here today, were at least mildly skeptical about what's going to happen today. Good. Good. Thank you for being honest. That's a great thing. It's okay to be skeptical. Why are we all so skeptical? It's because there's a couple main reasons. One, if this was so easy, how come no one ever taught it to us before? If this is going to be this miracle class, how come no one's ever showed me the secrets? That's one very good reason, right? And the good thing is, it is that simple, and I don't know why it's not taught in the schools. I have no idea. It used to be, hundreds of years ago, it's taught in different parts of the world. All the stuff you're going to learn today is not super complex. It's very simple. But the other reason, mostly, that people are skeptical is they have a belief that I'm sure it works for most people but I'm going to be the exception to the rule. 
I, I mean, literally, once a week, someone says, you're going to have your hands full with me. <laughs> it's constant where people doubt that they have the ability to do this stuff. It is this simple. This is how your brain works. We did not invent any of what you're going to learn. We did not invent it. What you're about to learn today and tomorrow is over 2,000 years old. This was discovered in the time of the Greeks. Simonides is the first that was credited with being discovering this. Cicero used these same skills to develop himself as a speaker and is considered to be the greatest orator of all time. We are just the absolute best on the planet at teaching it. I've been doing this for 10 years. Since 2001, I've been doing this. I've taught tens of thousands of people what you're about to learn, and none of it is magic. There's no magic bullet, and there's no, like, like lobotomy is going to happen today. Like, this is simply just going to be some very simple tools on the way that your brain works in its natural setting, and then you're, you're able to use that. So on the bottom of the page, there's a fill in the blank. It says, do not judge the process. Do not judge the process. Instead, judge the what? The results. Don't judge the process. Judge the results. Because if you can do whatever it is you put at the top of page three, do you care how it works? George, do you really care how it works? Not at all. Not even remotely close to how, like, I, oh, I need to know the science behind this, and what's the equation? No, you don't need to know that. I'll explain parts of it along the way, but you don't need to know that. It's just going to work. I mean, think about it. If your kids came home with straight A's, would you really care how they did it? <laughs> okay, some of you are like, oh, I know my children. I know my kids. Yes, they would get the third degree if they came home with an A. Okay, let's say they were a straight A student from the beginning. Would you question them? No, you'd be like, nice work, high five, you're smarter than me. Good. So all of this stuff you're going to learn, it's been taught to thousands and thousands and thousands of people around the globe. 